Sometimes I feel I'm Rufus Wainwright, and this song is called Unfollow the Rules. Unfollow the rules Unswallow the trust Sometimes I feel like my brain turns to leave One day, our daughter, Viva, she was about five and she came into the living room and just announced to everybody that she wanted to unfollow the rules. <laughs> Sometimes I read in a you know, I've been going to therapy for years uh, to get through some pretty dark periods in my life, dealing with addiction and also dealing with, you know, my mother's death. And... Another thing that happened while writing this song is that a dear friend of mine, a very good friend of mine, one day she just realized that a few years earlier, about 10 years earlier, she had been brutally raped. Subsequently, you know, had a massive nervous breakdown and had to go into therapy and really dismantled her, her life. So her experience started to really resonate with me and that started to dictate some of the directions that the song was going in. Yeah, yeah, this song is really um, an amalgamation of many, many experiences, many, many kind of um, touchstones that uh, are colliding. <laughs> Once you have children and you have to come to terms with who you were as a child, I mean, I mean, to write a song like this is not pain painful per se. It comes from pain. There's this, this sort of uh, cliche that a lot of uh, journalists will poo-poo or certain artists and say, oh, you know, this idea of being an artist in pain and is that really necessary? That's such a kind of romantic concept. I personally believe it's totally true. I think artists do have to be in pain a lot of the time. most rewarding with that process, it's getting out of the pain. 